I'm smiling because as you're watching this, you're doing just what you're doing right now, shaking your head. Why? Because, he, you know, it's, look, man, Steph, <laughs> come on. Come on. You know this, Scotty. You played enough ball. You get two feet on that circle. Before the jump ball is going up, you've established position. Now, an official should do a little bit better job because Steph didn't try to get in between two guys. He no. tried to bogart him out of there. That's and helped. he did it because it was Samaj Christian, and he was trying to basically punk the young fella. And he stood up for himself. Mm -hmm. And that's why this thing got to see right there. He's already established position. That's not getting in between. It's that's like stepping in front. Right. It's also the whole stepping over a guy. You just don't do that. You're, you're emasculating the guy. Just, Absolutely It's, it's not. not done. You see two guys all the time get next to each other and they mm -hmm. try to jockey for that top foot to kind of just get a little extra edge for leverage when right. that ball goes in the air. That was just completely disregarding that he was standing there. Uh -huh. So, and he, I, I like the fact that he stood up for himself. Sure. And they got into it a little bit and then Draymond and, and, and Steph. Now, that's when you really saw what's simmering beneath the surface between these two teams. Which We've is? seen it before. They don't like each other. You're 100% right. It's genuine. Mm -hmm. It's legit. It's real. Unfortunately for Russell, when it seems like when the tensions rise, Golden State responds to that, and Oklahoma City does not. Big picture, Golden State. I mentioned the whole, the, they were, organizationally, they were disappointed in what OKC didn't do for Durant, which I don't know what they felt I like. I don't understand that at all. Big, just big picture from the, from the Warriors. How much do they, and I'm sure they don't care, but how much do they just sort of, uh, I'm trying to think of a diplomatic way to say uh, anger the rest of the league. A little bit more, I think, you know, all the time. Certainly more in year three than it was That's in true. year one. It's there all the time. And, you know, look, the reason I feel kind of bad for Russell watching him tonight is because you know how competitive he is, right? No doubt. Who's got more competitive will than Russell Westbrook? I don't think anybody does in the league right I now. I agree with you. And, and so you know how much this hurts him. Because there is so much attention paid to these games. There's so much emotion behind it. And Golden State uh, smacked him in every game. And Golden State can't guard him. So at the end of the day, when these things happen and you want a response from you and your guys, they just can't match the firepower and it gets out of control. I literally feel like the movie Groundhog Day mm -hmm. for all four of these games this year. They were over by halftime in every case. They, the Warriors fuel themselves with this extra emotion and the way they almost protect and rally around Durant. Oklahoma City's guys don't respond to it, and the harder they try, the more it snowballs out of control. And that's why you feel for a guy that's that competitive. When things get testy, they can't answer the bell. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content, be sure to subscribe to ESPN's YouTube channel so you'll always stay up to date on all things SVP, which sounds awesome. You don't want to miss out.